Megan Fox is shocking fans after discussing her relationship with Machine Gun Kelly and posing naked for a photo shoot with him. The couple engaged in an array of provocative positions for the GQ cover shoot, while Megan claimed that the first time they met their spiritual guides were luring them away from each other. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's begin. Slowly but surely, Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly have been morphing into Hollywood's hottest new power couple. In recent months, they have managed to continuously be in headlines from what they wore at events to altercations on the red carpet, they're pulling out all of the stops. After many rumors of them hanging out last year, they confirmed the relationship by overtly demonstrating their affection for one another on the red carpet and on other social media pages. For many, this celebrity pairing came as a bit of a shock, but now fans have some insight into how their romance began. The pair got to know each other properly while on the set of Midnight in the Switchgrass, but had been briefly introduced to each other actually at a GQ party in LA just a few years before that. However, both Fox and Kelly can't remember actually seeing each other at that party. Megan tells GQ, We weren't supposed to run into each other that night, so our souls, our spirit guides, were luring us away from each other because you literally had no face, like that thing from Spirited Away. It is hard to see his face in general, but really he had no face that night. With Machine Gun Kelly adding, Even our first kiss, she wouldn't kiss me. We we just put our lips right in front of each other and breathed each other's breath and then she just left. In the photo shoot that accompanied this interview, Megan poses naked with a gun holster covering her up while she kneels beside MGK who is just in a black blazer and wearing thigh high leather boots. You know, love them or hate them, if you remove yourself from thinking about them as celebrities, they do both seem to believe the other person has saved them in some sense. which. I guess is a good thing, with Megan referring to their relationship in a very spiritual way, and MGK saying that he had previously lost the will to live until meeting her. He then says, quote, it hurts my soul that I wasted 30 years of my life not having any desire. Dude, I was down to die. I was good. I was like, alright, got music out there, that'll hold me down. You know, my daughter is the best extension of me and she's going to be better than I am, and I've seen some so I'm good to go. Megan also said that at the time she started to hang out with Colson more, she was open to love but didn't anticipate walking right into her soulmate like that. She went on to say that meeting MGK was like meeting her soul's own reflection and then noted that the relationship is very intense, adding, It's ecstasy and agony for sure. I don't want people to think anything's perfect with us. I didn't say it was the darkest fairy tale for no reason. There's also the demonic side. Which is sort of giving an explanation to the one photo where she has a gun in his crotch, I guess? I mean, many people on social media were so baffled by the photo shoot and interview that Megan began trending on Twitter as a result. But either way, we would love to hear your thoughts on all this though, so don't forget to drop us a comment down below. And before I get out of here, I'm actually going to check out some of your comments from the video titled Kylie Jenner Slam for Disturbing Photos. Wolf says, guys, it's freaking Halloween season, literally supposed to be scary and disturbing. I think she did a fantastic job on this. I mean, that was the intention, so yeah, I agree with you. She did do a great job on creating some disturbing photos for Halloween. Megan Pauline says, I love Halloween, so I dig the promo photos. There are just some people who need to find fault in everything. Sad but true. Sad but true. The photos were great. They look cool. Eric Robin says, yo, this is diversifying. This is the most interesting I've ever seen a Kardashian ever be. To be honest with you, I think it's great. Good on her. She is trying to find her own lane. I mean, she's not technically a Kardashian, although she is with that family. I mean, her mom is. So I get I get it, but uh, it's, it's good. Yeah, you're right to see her diversifying away from what most of the other family is really doing. Unless you want to count Kim's like cult-like appearance at Kanye's show. I don't know. Ren says, love the message of this video. There's so much negativity in this world. If you don't like it, walk away or click off. With that being said, I think the Kardashian-Jenner family feeds off our money we spend on them and both the good and bad attention we give them. So I wish people would just quit talking about them. People are going to always talk about celebrities. That's always going to be the case. And there's always going to be celebrities that want to be talked about. So we're going to constantly hear Kardashian and Jenner stories going off. I'm going to have to talk about them too because there's lots of people on this channel that love hearing what's going on with those two families. But I do agree, we do need to click off of things that bring us that negative energy. It can be spent in much better places. Now, Isabel says she's so smart, they know how to get tongues wagging. <laughs> that's one way to say it. Well, folks, that's all the time that I have for you today. For now, I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.